the double standard of only punishing people of color and the poor? Do we have the nerve to free and pardon those who did their time for the crime and offer them a clean slate and a new start? President Lincoln pardoned Jefferson Davis and other Confederates who engaged in treason against the United States of America in an effort to bind up and heal the wounds after the Civil War. President Ford did the same thing with respect to Richard Nixon after Watergate, even though he had violated, dishonored, and debased the Constitution. Well, it was clear that he would have been impeached and convicted and driven from office legally and technically. He was never indicted, tried, not convicted of anything. Unique to Ford and Nixon was that Nixon was never officially accused, tried, or even sought a pardon. President Ford was simply determined to stop the potential harm restrain the hemorrhaging and heal the wound. There are those in their anger and spirit of retribution who want to use Hillary Clinton as a trophy in the name of false justice. It would be wise in the name of justice and the lineage of Lincoln and Ford for President Obama to do the same and to pardon Hillary Clinton. President-elect Trump, while the presidential candidate, promised to appoint a special prosecutor to investigate Secretary Clinton and try to put her in prison. Even though Secretary Clinton has not been legally accused, indicted, tried, or convicted of anything, President Obama should follow President Ford's example and offer a preemptive full pardon and inoculation against politically motivated prosecution in the spirit of healing the divisions in our country. To do otherwise will only exacerbate and divisions and hard feelings on both sides. It would be a monumental, moral, and political mistake to pursue the prosecution of Hillary Clinton. Such a mean-spirited action against her would unleash a nasty spirit in the nation and would damage our government. 